like Chi Chin Chong from here to Hong Kong. He's talking about the uh, marijuana. They all do. Don't they? Who's they? <laughs> all the rappers. <laughs> Adventure continues uh, Saturday morning. We're gonna head over to Unseen Strings and hang out with Mr. Alan Thrall. Uh, got some squats today. Still uh, probably going beltless to make myself lift a little bit lighter. Um, I've talked about this a little bit, but I know there's a lot of comments. Beltless training, in my personal opinion and experience, uh, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, you know, all the research kind of shows, plus. Uh, my own experience that I could uh, be a little bit safer, I could flex my abs a little bit harder uh, while using a belt, so I just kind of always do. Plus I could use more weight so then I could overload my legs and, and the squat itself. But uh, right now I'm trying to kind of rebuild and to kind of keep my ego in check, I guess for lack of a better term, uh, I'm gonna go beltless. So instead of me doing you know five or three sets of five to eight at you know 400, 450 pounds, going beltless, it'll force me to do it with 350 to 400 pounds. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna kinda aim for today, get a little bit of work in on the squat. Uh, bench, I'll probably work up to some sets of 10, nice and easy. Uh, and then if it all feels good, I'll finish with some conventional deadlifts uh, and maybe a little bit of weighted ab work. We'll see. I think today at, at uh, Alan's place, it's kind of like an open gym, uh, maybe even open to the public. Don't quote me, uh, but I think he just opens it up. Um, so there may be people doing strongman, doing events. There's going to be people hopefully deadlifting, squatting. Energy should be good. Alan's one of the homies. I'm excited to actually uh, train with him. I'll probably train with him next week. Um, we've been in the same gym and all that, but we've never actually trained together. So I think he's kind of prepping for a powerlifting meet. I may be wrong, but I think he's trying to get his power lifts way up. Uh, and I'm just gonna literally hop into what he's doing uh, for a day. I kind of like to do that. You learn different styles of training. One, Alan's a very smart guy, but two, I believe he has a coach. Um, so I can just kind of hop in with there. My squat might be a little bit stronger than uh, Alan's at competition level, but right now it's probably not. So I'll literally just hop into whatever he's doing and that'll be like Monday, uh, some of that nature. Cold morning, it's about 45 degrees. I know that's not cold for some of you, but here in Sacktown it's a little cold, got the tights on. I'm going to take some extra time to get warm because I am stiff. Uh, yesterday I started implementing some sprints, some uh, high intensity interval training. Probably do that once or twice a week as well as one or two times a week doing some low intensity stuff. Just hopped on a spin bike. I've been actually contemplating buying a spin bike, um, but we'll see. So uh, I literally just did four rounds all out with about a minute uh, to two minutes recovery in between. Burnt up my quads pretty good. Burnt up my lungs really good. Just overall trying to get uh, a little bit more in shape. Trying to get that athleticism back. Let's see what's happening at Untamed. What's up guys, Salam Mike checking in again. And before we dig into this voiceover, first I just want to thank everybody for the awesome, awesome feedback, results, and support for Kaizen training. And before our introductory prices are raised on March 7th. I want to give you guys the heads up and the last chance to grab the introductory pricing. All the info is in the description below. We have the 12-week fat loss while maintaining your strength program that I'm currently doing right here. You guys will see me bang out some sets of 8 and 10 right now. Uh, we also have a 12-week bench specialist program. Um, it's a high-frequency, high-volume program for your bench, but it also includes squat and deadlifts if you guys are looking to up your strength a little bit but focus on the bench. Again, all that is in the description below, link in the description. Appreciate y'all. Took a little trip over to my boy Alan's house, or excuse me, not his house, but his gym, his home, I guess his mecca, it could be his house, uh, and hit some squats, some early morning squats. Again, I'm, I'm kind of running this similar program, just tweaked to myself, but lots of volume, uh, frequency is kind of moderate, uh, but I'm just plugging away on sets of basically eight and 10 as much as I can on all the lifts. Squats feeling pretty decent. 
I'm going beltless uh, for no real particular reason other than a couple about a month ago, a little bit over. Uh, I guess I peaked a little bit, uh, and it was on purpose. I just wanted to push my squat to see where it was, kind of with this new stance with a, uh, a little bit leading with my knees with a little bit more quad-dominant squat. Uh, and that In that week, I mentioned I squatted you know, 525, 535, 540 maybe. I forgot the exact numbers uh, within like six days of each other, which uh, overall is kind of a PR in terms of the frequency and how heavy it was. But now it's back to work. I do enjoy the work. I do enjoy the grind. Uh, PRs are nice. Lifting heavy is nice. Uh, but I just like getting a lot of reps in. So uh, I got a Texas squat bar right here. So it's 55 pounds. I did my first set. Uh, I kind of give myself ranges as I go in as I am a little beat up from travel uh, and just inconsistency. So uh, I did the 335, 345 or so and then 355. Or actually I did 335 and then 375. I believe I jumped. Uh, here's Sandy smashing away. I've done all her programming for those that don't know. Uh, she competed a little while ago. She hit a uh, raw squat PR of about 280. Uh, benched about 145, uh, and I think she pulled about 375. So right now we're just plugging her away uh, with squat volume, trying to build up her legs a little bit. I think if her leg strength goes up, uh, obvious but not obvious, her squat strength will go up. So uh, I think that was about 240 pounds. I'm not sure what set that was, but uh, she did hit an AMRAP PR with 240 pounds. She hit nine reps, uh, which is pretty dang good considering how clean they were uh, and considering the fatigue she's under. Can't tell what's on that bar, whether it's tens or quarters. I think it's tens, um, which actually m might even make it 345. I know I just went over a bunch of numbers with you guys, and they're all probably inaccurate. Yeah, here's the quarters. So, <laughs> with the 55 pound bar, that was 325 plus 210, so 345. Uh, and then with the quarter, uh, it now becomes 375. So, um, you know, honestly, it might be a PR set of eight, uh, considering I, I haven't done a lot of beltless work um, recently. And even before when I did beltless work, I didn't do a lot of reps and volume on it. Uh, sometimes it just hurts. Sometimes it's hard. And often because I've had some back issues in the past, I just tend to throw up on a belt uh, to protect me, um, which I am a big proponent of. And I will get back to you very soon uh, just for right now. Uh, because I'm traveling and all that, sometimes it's just easier not to use a belt. Uh, just hopped in over. Sandy was doing block pulls. I just decided to do some stiff legs, kind of stretch out my hamstrings. Uh, my low back and hammies get really tight, uh, not only because I have a little anterior pelvic tilt going on, but also just from the squats themselves. So stretched them out. Uh, I don't even know what's on the bar, 255 perhaps. Not a big deal to me, but get a little bit of work and get some blood into the hammies. Uh, then I ended up benching a little bit with Connor. Again, no real goal. Uh, I threw a, a little bit of more of a close grip, a closer grip than typically what I bench best with. Uh, people ask about that all the time. How close should you go? Just go a little bit closer than normal. You can see right here. Uh, ended up with you know anywhere from 205 to 225, I think, on the bar. Uh, just banged out some sets of 8 to 10. Appreciate you guys. Couple more training videos, and then I'm on the road. Time to vlog. Leave the comments below if you guys have any questions about the bench press. I will cover them in a video coming up. Again, like the video, comment below with your comments on questions on bench press. I appreciate you guys. Oh, I did some ab work. Look at me. I'm turning into a gymnast. That's not the most elegant thing you've ever seen, but could be worse, right? Working on those abs, summer body, beach body coming in. Appreciate you guys. I'm out.